Yo, what's up guys? I've got some water here, I've got some paints here, I've got my canvas here, and I am going to be painting today. Does that surprise you? Shouldn't, because uh, one of my things are, one of my hobbies are actually drawing. Just shut out this camera here. There we go, and I'll be back when I've done the outline of what I'm going to be drawing. There you go guys, there's the base layer, which is the part where I draw to then paint over. There's just one problem, I need the colour green. Let me go find it. There we go guys, I found the colour sap green. And now I'm just going to add it to my paint palette. If I can open it, there we go. Colour sap green. Added. Now I can just put that out of the way and get my brush out. No, not this brush. This brush. Just push it. Put this other brush back. Put that back. There we go. I want this brush so it's not that stiff. Unstiffen it. Comment down below if you're into painting. And comment down below what you want me to paint next. One second guys, I'll be back when my brush is unstiffed. There we go guys, I have unstiffen my brush dip it in water again let's get some green let's get some green going uh, let's start here oh this is moving some more using there we go uh-huh Comment down below if you enjoy my videos. And if you have an idea on what I can paint next, comment that down below as well. Because I'm telling you, I'd do it. Need some more green, I'm pretty sure. Just hold this still from up here. Yep, needs a bit more green. Here we go. Just. When you're painting, you always want to go in one direction. So up or down or left and right. Unless you're on edges, then you can like do what I'm doing right now. Go here, go here. Just makes it easier if you outline the outsides first. As you can see, I'm outlining the sides. I am recording this on my phone because that's the only camera I have at the moment. But yeah. Oh, I accidentally went onto a different one there. I think I've run out. Run out of green. Here we go. Got a bit more. I'm gonna go over this like two or three times to make sure I've got all the parts. As you guys can see, this will take a little bit of time. 
because painting is one of those things where it takes time to do. And it also takes a lot of concentration, so I'm surprised I'm able to uh, paint and talk at the same time. Because I'm talking to you guys, then I'm painting this. This sap green looks nice when it's dark. If you guys are wondering what I'm painting, I'm painting a little valley in between some hill ranges. See, I'm not just a Minecraft gamer or a Minecraft YouTuber. I do other stuff, so. I mainly do games, but I'll probably do like the one off drawing or painting episode or something. I'm going to be making a new channel, hopefully. With my brothers, if. That's if. We really want to. Just make it a little bit brighter here. This is going up on, on the hill here. See where that's bright there? That's where it's all going to be bright. And then here where it's dark, I'm going to keep it dark here. Because that's the part that's with the sun here. The only way to make it bright though is to use white. I do have white. I was thinking on drawing like a person here but I think it ruined the setting at the moment. I'm going in a uh, up and down motion because I mainly always do. That's what I mainly do when I'm painting up and down. You don't want to go too fast either, otherwise, you're going to miss spots. And when you miss spots, then you get like, when you're finished, you get like it's all dried up and then you have to repaint it. Or paint over it. Then you have to wait another couple of minutes for it to dry. This paint doesn't take long to dry. As you see, I've just uh, wiped my finger over it. It's not got any paint on it. I'm using acrylic paint, by the way. I do have watercolours and watercolour pencils. I also have graphite. I need to like break up the uh, straight line this. When I'm going over it with the white, then I'll probably just like do it side to side like this diagonally. To give it kind of like texture, just like change up the texture a little bit. Because as you know, wilderness grass is well, as I know, wilderness grass is not as how you might know it. Here's some paint that's already got on here. As you see, this would normally be on an angle like that, unless you like, unless I really don't want it to be. But 
but my purpose of doing this is so it's on an angle. My bird's chirping in the back. His name's Anfield. Comment down below if you have a pet and what pet you have. If it's a cat, if it's a dog, if it's a fish, if it's a uh, parakeet or a, a um, parrot or something. Let's go over these little white parts at the moment. Wet the brush a little bit. Get some more paint. And then continue. Don't want to press too hard as well because on a canvas or a piece of paper it can go through. Because if you look on the canvas, it's got a hole in the back. Or if you press too hard, it's gonna go through. So make sure you care for one painting. What do you guys do in your spare time? Apart from watch films or videos off YouTube comment that down below because I normally go out do some sport or sit playing a game or paint or draw one of those is what I do depends on how I feel as well so Wet my brush and see if I can spread it about a little bit. It's also a good tactic if you wet your brush and then brush off a little bit of the wetness, you can use the color again and it actually brightens up the color just a little bit. Obviously acrylic is better without water, but I just use the uh, water to either brighten it up or spread it. In this case I'm using it to spread the uh, colour. Now I'm using it to brighten it up a little bit. Just wet it a little bit more. Almost done on the first hill. There we go. Just finished the first hill. That's what it looks like at the moment. That's what all the mountain ranges are going to look like, but obviously darker in parts. That's just reminding me, I need to get the white out a look. This is... Titanium white. Titanium white. And this time I'm not going to be stupid and I'm going to use the lid to uh, open it. That opened it. Nope. 
Ah, it must be open now. Yep, that's open. There we go. And now, screw on the lid. And then, wait for that to dry a little bit. I'll be back when that one hill is fully dry and I can go over it with a little bit of white. Alright guys, I am back to check if it is dry. That side is. That side is. That side is. And... Oh, the hill is dry. Which means, now I can just like, wash off my brush. Just do that right now. Have I got any? No, okay. And then get some white. And brighten it up a little bit. Don't worry guys, this is not ruined. Gotta wash off my brush now. Get rid of the white. And then wet it. Brush it across. Wet it. Get some green over it. And yeah, I'm just going to continue that and I'll be back when it's done. There you go guys, I've just brightened that up a little bit. Finished blending it, still a bit wet. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the colour yellow. Just let me wet off my brush here. Get rid of all the white and green that I've used. Get a little bit of yellow. and start the sun here just got a, a little bit more a little bit more On this sun, I'm probably going to like go over it a few times. It's probably like that now, and then like that again, and so on. I'm going across now to see if I can like. Blend the lines a little bit. Get a little bit more yellow. Go diagonally this way now. There you go, there's the sun. Can I get the yellow off my brush now?
There we go. Yellow's off my brush. Probably going to use some of this blue, which is called Cobalt Blue for the little river valley in the middle there. So it gets brighter if you like spread it about a lot more, which is good because this cobalt blue is quite dark. Let's get a bit on the top here. Get a little bit more of this cobalt blue. Put it on, spread it down, and over. Can't be too bright, but it can't be too dark. Has to be in the middle, if it's like a little river valley. For me at least. You guys might have different thoughts. Get this top finished off though. And this side here. There we go. I added like a little waterfall effect here. Like blended some of the pencil. I'll be back when I finish the river. Hey guys, I decided to come back now because I just wanted to show you this important detail that I'm adding where it's like light on the sides, kind of, and then gets darker in the middle. It's because normally the lighter sides are the shallow ends and the darker in the middle is the deep part of the area of the water. So I just decided to add that effect. So. Yeah. Looks a bit realistic now that I've added that effect. The river's also not straight as you can see. He also like gets covered by this hill here. Just gotta continue painting the river. The sun and the uh, little part here, this hill, doing good. Let's grab a bit more blue. Wet my brush a little bit and get a bit more on my brush. There we go. And then just a little bit more blue. What's your thing you do when you're like a bit stressed and then you calm down? Using that one thing, what is that that you get you, you guys use? Because I use painting or drawing or listening to music. Because they're my favorite things to do. Listening to music is probably my favorite one out of more. Mostly on walks as well. Sometimes I just like to get creative and do what I'm doing now. Painting and drawing. It's always good to get a little bit creative. And yes guys, I know I'm going over the river line, it's because sometimes rivers aren't 
the way they go. And a little bit more here. Cover up all these parts with white speckles in them. I'm kind of like dabbing my brush here. To like cover up these little speckles. some water to bring this down a little bit. A little bit more water. Bring it off to the sides. Almost done. It's getting a bit shallow because it's turned into a waterfall. Whereas up here it's like a little lagoon thing going down into a river, into a waterfall, into another river. Off to the side here where I made it go off. Always look back on the work that you've done so you can like see if there's any little spots that you've missed. Remember to use some water to like spread the colour. And I'll be back when I'm finished. There we go guys, I have just finished the river in the valley. So I'm going to finish off the hills and get a lighter blue for my sky. So I'll be back when I've got the lighter blue. There we go, I found Verdium Blue. Uh, I'm just going to add this to my palette here. Uh, let's put it on... Oh yeah, I forgot, it's not open. Daft me. Just quickly open it. It doesn't even look blue, it looks a bit green. Might not add that. I'm going to look for a different blue. Because this is... Definitely not blue. It looks blue, but it's green. One second, I'll be back when I've got it. There we go, guys. I found a different blue, which is Cerulean Blue. I don't know how to say that. Tell me if I'm saying it wrong. Comment it down below if I'm saying it wrong or something. Let's just add this to the palette. I can. It's quite hard to squeeze out. There we go. It's on the palette now, so let's close this up. Put it up to a side. And let's start with the sky. Ah, I've got blue water on me. Let's grab a little bit of red. A little bit of red for the edge of the sky here. Follow the hill. And there we go. Just make it like that. 
grab a little bit of yellow. Put it over the red a little bit. Like this. To make it kind of orange. A light layer over the actual piece of red to make the red a little bit brighter. There we go. Let me grab some red, put it down, grab some yellow, and mix them together. Add a little bit more yellow than red to make this weird orangey colour that I already have on the paper to go over it a little bit. Add a little bit of water so it gets lighter. And then let me just grab this colour again. Go over the sun a little bit with it. See if you can like spread it about. A little bit of water. To match it in a little bit more. And that should just about do it. Just a little bit more actually. There we go. Now the sun looks a bit like an orangey now. Which means now I have to wash off my brush and use this new blue for the edges of the sky. This blue right on the edge of the sky. There we go. Just a little bit more here, actually. There we go. Edges of the sky done. Wash off my brush. And that is the sun, the river, and one mountain done. Let me grab this lighter green here and add it. To my paint palette. So I can use it. This one is the very done color. Don't know how to pronounce it pronounce it. There we go, and add it to the mountains.
Just get a little bit more of this color. Add it to the other mountain up here. To add like a kind of like a barrier between these. Because otherwise it just looks like a grasslands. So what I'm thinking is grab my pencil and adding a little outline to these hills. Actually looks better there because you can see where it's where the mountain is covered by the other mountain or the hill is covered by the other hill because of the dark shape that I've just given to it. Mountains up here will be light. All the hills up here will be light because it's right next to the sun. I keep saying mountains and mean hills. Grab more of this colour. Continue with the bottom part of the mountains. Or the other side of the valley. And just add a layer here. Do the same with these. There we go. I'll be back when I've done a few more hills. There you go guys, I have finished a couple more hills and I'm just about to finish up on it now. Be back right. when it's done. There you go guys, I'm finished with the drawing. If you like this video, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button and comment down below what you want me to draw next and I'll heart that comment and draw it in the next video. See you guys then.